Yep, it's running now. The, the laptop is going over there. I'll just put the light on and turn a light off back here. <coughs> set up now for a zoom hopefully um, um, Paula will come on for fintech news in London I sent her an invite to come on tonight 8 o'clock and 9 a.m. in London if she uh, comes on it's short notice because I only gave her two hours notice <coughs> and she's not prepared for this Zoom so if she doesn't come on that's fine because I don't expect her to come on because business has to have um, a pre pre uh, preparation before going online and a bit of information but she has got all my documents for um, Comply Advantage, that's um, Charlie uh, Dilling Pohl, the CEO and founder of um, Comply Advantage, and he is a um, money laundering expert and also a crypto expert for money laundering through um, hiding um, um, stuff um, stolen or 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 fraudulent means or the illegally avoiding tax of the government and also um, cases. He's got 50 million cases running at the moment <coughs> and he's also got two banks working alongside him and they own their own banks and that's, um, that's the um, Starling Bank uh, with uh, Guy, <coughs> Guy, I've got it here somewhere, but I've written their names down so I won't forget, but I've got to put them on the wall so I don't forget, and that's what I don't like doing, I've got to organise myself, I've got um, a clip, some clips to go on the wall and stick it on the wall with a, so I can see who I'm talking to and um, won't get it wrong with this guy hang on I've got it somewhere guy and guy and Philip <coughs> Philip guy I always get their names mixed up guy owns the Starling Bank and where's the other one gosh I've got writing everywhere and the other bank is um, Philip. Philip, where is it? Gosh, I'm terrible. I've got no office girl, that's why. The French girl uh, was too busy in the gym, so I said, never mind, I'll do it myself. See, I'm trying to get somebody to help me do this sort of thing, so I'm prepared when I go in a meeting. <coughs> Right, where are their names? I've written them down somewhere. And do you think I can find it? It's all there. But I've got so much writing going on here that it's hard to see through the writings. <coughs> I can't spot it because I've just gone flat out and wrote like hell. Ah, I can't even see it. I've got their names all written down. Financial Times, Charlie, Philip, <coughs> Guy Weller, and Philip, 
my key surname Jamie James K Gina Clark James Jamie Nuttall he's accountant Gina is the news the fintech news in London and they are recording what um, Charlie <coughs> Dylan Paul um, talks about and you'll see all this on my website now all piled up on the end of the page <coughs> just scroll to the bottom and you'll see what's going on in London and what's going on in Auckland New Zealand to join us back together with the two bar Patterson pound note the patented pound note that um, um, Vanguard and BlackRock is stealing with uh, with their corporate private companies and that doesn't belong to them and I'm going in there as a surrogate King William III trust um, Moai Crown King William III trust the Moai Crown bit is the statue standing in London in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court, that's Queen Victoria's memorial to her documents and her title on all the um, Commonwealth countries under her Queen's crown that didn't have any jurisdiction of what they did with the Rothschilds one bar pound note that never got the royal assent from King William III, Dutchman Protestant at the time of his reign, 1694, Bank, Bank of England Act in 1694, two bar pound notes. So the Rothschilds went around going through Parliament and made their own printed one bar pound note that's gone fraudulent all the way through to, from 1694, all the way through to 2024 and trying to make the new US dollar out of that original two one bar unpatented pound note and they've made their old US dollar or the one that's there now a fiat currency that took out the gold took the gold out and put thin air there and fake money and printing um, money out of thin air and fraud the people defrauded the people of the world with that central pound note and US dollar that's gone to ribbons now and now the BlackRock and Vanguard British companies private corporations are trying to steal our original New Zealand two bar pound note and they can't put it together with an STAT that I'm running an STAT meant lien claim, a mortgage lien claim over them to liquidate their one bar pound note and all its fraudulent corporation business with our Moai Crown King William the Fourth Third King William the Third Trust Corporation of two thousand twenty four. Okay, I've been on it for a long time, 50 years of research, putting this all together and for this case that's coming up there when I get it going with the new company now registered and I'm waiting for the papers now. The name of the company in the London company's house where all the fraud is, the shell companies are in there registered and I've registered this new company that's just... Um, going through at the moment and it's called Moai Crown King William III Trust yeah that's the bank creditor of his Bank of England that we're going to liquidate all its business because of the fraud one pound note that's gone and wreaked havoc all over the world with the central bank and the war the bank wars started from that and our King William fourth flag that these Maoris and Pakehas in New Zealand Parliament used that flag and gave it to America and the IMF and World Bank and <coughs> federal state government 
and we are a new federal, federal state government now with our Maui Crown King William IV um, uh, Corporation. Okay, we're running our business, uh, the Maui Crown King William III Trust, the Maui Crown King William the Fourth Trust, and Maui Crown Queen Victoria Trust, and the Maui Crown <coughs> King um, George the Fourth Trust. Those are the four trusts that are the judgment creditor against the judgment debtor, the IMF, and the World Bank and the federal government in America. There, that's that. That's one corporation with a two bar power note that the Rothschilds and Vanguard and BlackRock are trying to steal illegally. And I'm putting a legal case together and a case of legitimacy to claim that two bar power note all the way through my documents on my website that the trolls in London and the trolls here destroyed and put me in jail and in the mental home that just about killed me. But that's another case against them, all those perpetrators that got a photo, their photo on that site and in the Moai Crown uh, King, Moai Crown King, uh, King's Bench Magistrate, King's Bench Court. Okay, all your photos, if it's in there, and a video with you talking, like Jamie Dimon, he's J.P. Morgan's CEO, he's, that's a video affidavit I'm using, and the words are coming out of his mouth, an American there, with one of the big banks in America, that's saying this, he said this, Bitcoin is a hyped up fraud, right, with his mouth moving like I'm moving my mouth now. That's a statement and a public um, 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 public um, appearance of fact cited evidence that I'm using in our court case in the Rolls Building High Court in London. I went there to set it all up but had no money to do it. Now I've got equity in the Mitchell Family Trust theft of my company, now Atawe Awa Aotea Limited in New Zealand, and 17 trillion, he's carved out of a thousand trillion plus native land lease of New Zealand, Aotea New Zealand, that he's stolen with a Freemason and a barrister. They're in trouble. They are, they're, they're in trouble and caught right in the middle of it and Charlie is going to fix that up and hopefully he's going to get to talk to me to do that case. He's got it now. The whole world has got it. You're looking at the evidence there on the website and it can't go anywhere because it's everybody knows. It's fully disclosed and can't be refuted because it's public. What I'm saying on this video is fact-cited evidence and full disclosure of a court case that cannot be refuted in estiatment um, case of, of um, um <coughs> fraud and corruption of the British Crown Corporation business of King William III of Orange, um, Dutchman Protestant, um, that I'm swearing my allegiance to as the surrogate King William III, 1694. Bank of England Act, 1694 two-bar pound note Act, and the Westminster Parliament Act, the Buckingham Palace Act, and also other acts of King William IV and his 1835 flag that was given to us by him to protect our business from snakes and robbers and the people that I accuse myself directly as a surrogate King William IV as well. Okay, so there, I'm speaking 
for them, those three kings and Queen Victoria, because she got a real coronation, and those kings got real coronations, but Queen Elizabeth II got no true coronation. So people in Britain know that, but they go and take her flowers and look after her and her fraudulent royal family, unroyal family, I say, because they have corrupted our L-O-R-E, the truth of Moai, that's standing in London, standing in France, standing in New York, standing in Singapore, standing all over the world. The real Moai statue is my DNA to the Wānoa royal Tahitian family. Okay? The Wā means, the W-A means beginning in time of space, and the Noa, N-O-A, is the law, L-O-R-E, the truth, God's law, the Atua up there, <coughs> and that's the name of our company, Na Atua Ewa Ote Limited. <coughs> Atua, our God, the God name word is British Corporation, English language word for our Atua up there, Na Atua Ewa, forever. Okay, forever in space out to Brown Planet, uh, Make Make, that the Professor Brown in America is stealing it. He's put his name all over it, but hasn't got the history to back it up and the memorials to that Make Make Brown Planet. I'm holding on to it here. The key is here for all information about British law and British Crown business. It's here with me. Okay, so that's, the buck stops there. I think it's coming up to 1945. That's 15 minutes to 8 p.m. Hopefully, Paula is going to come on. She's from FinTech News in London. So she's got all my documents, and hopefully she'll be there to grill me and stump me with any questions. And I'll tell you straight out, off the cuff, right through the years of, um, of continuity of sovereignty in partnership to the British Crown. It's not the same Crown as it was in 1689, King William III of Orange. It's not looking the same. It looks horribly corrupted and full of filth on that corporation, on Queen's side. Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. It's fraud all the way to America and they've hidden everything there and shutting down Westminster Parliament. That's what they do. They stuck the Muslims in there to take over Westminster Parliament and they've taken over the magistrate court there but I'm going in with those four trusts to liquidate the whole lot if I get this little young fellas going, okay? The young fellas with the crypto brain and the digital brain and the means of capturing them on digital fraud and money laundering, okay? The money laundering. King William the Third was the creator of money, okay? He created the pound note to kick everything off with the two-bar pound note. And that was in Parliament, passed by Parliament, and the Rothschild one bar pound note never got passed in Parliament in the upper house and the lower house. It just didn't go there. They just dreamed it out of their head. The same as these Maoris in Pakehouse in New Zealand. Dream it out of their head, and that's why it's stuffed. The Maoris are all chucked in the rubbish, just like the British have chucked Westminster in the rubbish and then sold it off to the Muslims. The same with these Maoris here are selling us off with Winston Peters, the Maori. A Maori, you can't trust the Maori or Pākehā here anymore. That's why I never trusted them all the way through and just spoke <coughs> is my competing witness on my own two feet with my mouth flapping and telling the truth. And that's gone through Brian 
deaf ears all the way through on my eyes. I've done court hearings on my eye. It just went straight through. And they got up. They know better. Well, all you Maoris, you can carry on being Maoris. Nothing wrong with it because that's the way it's been designed by the British Pakeha. Okay, so they came here, married our people, and then screwed them. And they screwed the Manukau family because they don't know a thing about land and Freemasons transfer documents of title, native title, they put together here in 1862, 11th of November 1862, Native Land Act. And then they adopted it in the Queen Victoria Crown Corporation in London. Then they adopted the 1862 Native Act there, came from here. And I'm holding on to those original documents of STAT to claim all the wealth and the legal inheritance to the British Crown business. Okay, that's what I'm doing all on my own. Competing witness, that means I'm saying things that are true until nobody opens their mouth and refutes this and many other videos, affidavits. Okay? <coughs> you, if you don't refute it, it becomes law. L-A-W, law, and not L-O-R-E, is natural law. It's a common law of kings, William the Third, King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth, and Queen Victoria. I put her in there because King Itaurua, the chief of Napui, he signed my documents all the way through the years and not anybody else's on a British crown scale. Okay, he just wanted his land back. And he says, what am I signing? I says, shut the mouth, sign it. And he did, he signed it. But he did good for Queen Victoria because that's his Edward line, okay? <coughs> Edward, um, Kingi Todor, and he did well with me and Peter, um, Peter, Apiata, I got on well with them on their table. I sat with them all the time in their titi marae, all the time, and talked with them about the tidal turbine project. And I had no money to do it in the Kaipara with Mohi Manukau. And he didn't say a word on the marae or even at titi marae, shut his mouth and said, John, you tell them. So I told them what Mohi said, and they just didn't get it. And now we're at that point where I wish Mohi Manukau was alive to keep that legacy going of the Manukau family and the Judge Rogan family that married the Manukaus, uh, Marae Rogan and Marae, um, I mean Manukau, and um, um, John Rogan Judge in the Awaroa Magistrate Court in Helensville, the native Magistrate Court in Helensville that put the 10 acre blocks together to sell the land off in um, in uh, Helensville as mortgage uh, to go to the bank. That was the same place the bank was there. The Awaroa Bank and the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court was one building on 20 Commercial Street in Helensville. I spent a lot of time there with Mohi Manukau and the 1835 Confederation of the United Tribes flag jurisdiction there, not up in Waitangi, but I spent all my years up there, going backwards and forwards there, and going backwards and forwards to Gisborne with the incorporations there, and I had the, um, <coughs> the uh, my own corporation, incorporations with, um, um, with all the other incorporations up at Waitangi from Gisborne. We had seven incorporations there, and I used to go to Gisborne every month to have a meeting all the way there, drive all the way there in my car, in the little car, and and go all the way up to Waitangi to spend years and years and years trying to address the land theft issue. And it just they just rolled over us, the Crown and their descendants in Parliament here. Well, you've all got a big bill on your head. Okay, that's what it is. You do that to us, we do it to you. If it's legitimate, which it is, 
<coughs> with 970 million trillion trillion pound note that will sink sink you out of business. So that's what she's going to do, liquidate you and evict you off our native land. If you can't refute my videos, and this is just one of them, there's 61 native court hearings on Zoom with Andy Devine in uh, Greece. He's an expat from England, so a land sovereign, and I'm a sovereign here on our native land in New Zealand. Dutch founded company and country, New Zealand, is Dutch, and East Island, Rapa Nui, is Dutch founded as well. They never touched the Dutch crown in England. Westminster never flogged or stole the Moai statues. It was Queen Victoria in 1868 that dug out one of the big Moai statues and took it to England and put it in the museum and hid it away for 100 years before that. Then brought it out and and brought it out of hiding to make it into a memorial for her title to the whole world. That's why I'm going there, to get that title back where Moai stands on his ahu and he stands on his whenua underneath. That's where his feet are underneath. That's the whenua and here's the ahu. Whenua means the land owner, okay? the lord of the land in British corporation crown business name. The land lord, okay? The land lord is Moai statue and Queen Victoria. And the flag of King William the Fourth is the land lord, okay? Of the whole world where we are taking it, or I and the rest of my supporters, which are two others, in our administration and me. There are three is a quorum in a meeting and that's how it works. Hang on, I'll just check my participants and see. Oh, there's the camera. The camera's on, the mic is on. My participant, I'll just see if Paula turns up for FinTech News. I'm not expecting her to come on, but if she does, she's only had two hours notice <coughs> I came back from the gym and I never went in the gym. I told them I'm not fit enough to go in there because my stomach is playing up and I'm on a fast. They said, well, if you're on a fast, you can't come in the gym. And I said, yeah, that's right. I won't come in there. And, uh, I'll go in the pool, in the hot pool spa, and just soak away in there. And that's what I did, just to keep me um, in trim. And I've had a good sleep when I got back. And I've been asleep for a while. That's why I'm looking all right and can sound all right. I feel better. And I don't like it when I'm overtired. I, I like yesterday's video. I was completely had it. Really had it. And talking, I can, my brain still goes. Because when I get up, the brain kicks in and carries on with the work. It never stops. It's good for war. Because the war, you've got to keep one eye open and the other one sleeping. And your brain... It switched right off if you knock right out. But with the war, noise keeps you up. And <coughs> I'm afraid the darkness keeps me up because my, uh, my brain is a mechanic's thinking brain. Okay? It's thinking. It just needs two hours sleep. And it, bang, it goes away again and keeps things going. I've got the big tidal turbine project. That's what the $17 trillion was for that Eddie Mitchell from Hamilton and his greedy paws got on it and stole my company. Yeah, that's a big offence. It's stealing a company, and that's what you call Phoenix activity, and took my company to Singapore, washed it up in the IBC, which is supposed to be International Banking Corporation. That's what he told me. It's a banking corporation, and I had to pay 31000 New Zealand dollars to register my company is there, and he said, I need 5,000 cash from you, 5,000 cash from, from, uh, um, from, um, what's his name, um, Ingram, um, and 5,000 from, from Philip Newton, and 5,000 from Philip Afitu, and, and 5,000 from, 
from uh, what's his other name? Um, he's he's up in Rangiriri. From him, so five, fives, uh, twenty-five thousand cash. He was extorting out of me to get it off them, and they all said, um, uh, um, what's his name? Blair Ingram. He lives in Narawahia and went to the same primary school and secondary school as Eddie Mitchell, said to me, John, I don't trust them. And that's what Eddie said about him too. I don't trust Blair because Blair's too honest and shows him up. Now I'm going to show that Blair was correct, but I don't want to carry on with what we were because it's gone into my memory as a bad experience of going through all the trouble of fraudsters stealing money, stealing land, and running off with it, the money that belongs to all you people in New Zealand. He has robbed you and stolen your legal inheritance as live, born, native people of New Zealand. It's you, the living, that supposed to have that money, 17 trillion. Not one person. It was for community development projects and not for one man's family. And that Mitchell family is going to lose everything because I'm making rulings in our native courts online on Zoom so you can see who did the fraud, Eddie Mitchell and Alfred Mitchell, gave him the documents from the Maori Land Court and Te Ture Whenua Maori Act, Land Act, and that's all fraud. The whole thing is a scam <coughs> to get money and get the land and steal the whole land with documents, fraudulent documents. They are not the original Freemasons documents. It is only the Manukau and the Rogan documents that I'm holding that has the real true title to New Zealand and they've stolen it because it's like BlackRock and Vanguard from England that's going to steal the two bar pound note after they've raked all the money out of the one bar they're going to try and be honest and put their new US dollar in their cryptocurrency with their trusts, their 16 trusts in the Grayscale Trust and their 16 tokens and their trust to make that into cash and stick it in the IMF and into the World Bank to make everybody go through the same hell of one law fits all over you and I'm going right in the middle of them to challenge their native title and if they can't answer me in a video affidavit is stronger than a written affidavit because my written affidavits have got their photos in there as well and no one has told me to remove it no one has refuted any of those documents all they did was squash the videos off YouTube against their standards. Doesn't meet the standards. Yet they've been there all these years on my my website. They've been there all these years. If you have a look at my website and you see blank photos removed, they've done that. That's Israel. Israel is the thug pirate that's using the Admiralty Law, mortgage law of liens and bank loans of King William III of Orange, our king of our documents, that puts that on top of his head. The Rothschilds get the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and also BlackRock and Vanguard corporations on the Queen side, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, and now Charlie. They all get it on the head. And little George has got the Maui crown, King George the Fourth Trust bank creditor on his little head because I put those videos in there as evidence of the values worth of all those castles, all those things that comes from our king's jurisdiction of money. Okay, the money law and God's law, that's the Moai, God, L-O-R-E, truth. If you don't tell the truth, you get the bill. If you lie, you get the bill. Okay, all those people who lie and propaganda about something they say 
doesn't meet their standards. Well, you don't meet our standards of the British Crown. The real two-bar British Crown, not the one-bar pound note jurisdiction. That is going to get the two-bar on the head. I'm just telling you a real story. It's for you to deny the two-bar pound note that they're flicking around on their video. I've got it right there so you can see in the public it's fully disclosed. And if you want to look through for what I'm saying, just go back through the years. I put 50 years in it. And you can see, I've said the same story, never changed all the way through. The only ones that changed is that crown. That Queen's crown and that King's crown have no continuity of sovereignty to our King William the Third crown, 1689 constitution that went on for 10 years there to set up the constitution to the 1835 constitution flag of King William IV. That's my jurisdiction over all you corporations in the world, that flag. And this Maoris are playing around with it here as a whakaputanga. So the Crown and Wellington used the whakaputanga flag and then they designed their own flag of New Zealand with Cindy Kiro, Governor General, with a crown on their head on their flag. They won't show you their flag. They only stick it up on the days that the Treaty of Waitangi and all those other celebrations for the Governor General only, not the Queen or the King. And in their courts, they swear their oath of office to Charlie, King Charlie. And in Parliament, it's a different story in the Beehive in Wellington. They swear their oath of office to Cindy, the Japanese Maori woman with her crown on her head and it's on the flag. Their flag, that's the flag in Waitangi. They put up ahead of our flag and there was a violation of corporation law right there, right in front of Napui that did nothing about it. Legally, because they can't. They can't because the government rules. And we've got a federal government. I've been under the covers all the way, just like the under cover government in America. They've got their their other government there with with um, <coughs> Obama uh, leading the other fraudulent government that's running in the background as a federal government. But the federal government in, in America is the US federal government. And our government is with me on the video from here or anywhere I want to go, in the sky, under the water, in the top of the water, on the land, anywhere with the flag. The flag has the jurisdiction of a confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand, Aotea country. Okay, Aotea the Waka from Tahiti, one of the Wakas, seven Wakas that came from there to here. And that name, Aotea, is the Aotea Centre in Auckland City, and Aotea, Great Barrier Island, and Aotea up in Kaipara, Bessel um, Beach up there, the, um, that's over there. <coughs> and I've been through all that, I forget a little bit now, but um, but that's where it is. <coughs> Buck, um, not Buckingham Beach, up there, the beach up there, where <coughs> where the, the plaque is that changed the Altair to Altair Law, over there. You see how cheeky the Maoris and the Pakeas are in Wellington government. They designed everything, and that Na Atua, uh, that Nazi to a tribe is not a real tribe. That's been designed by the Maoris and the Parkers in the Parliament. Now they've rubbished it, and all the other tribes under the Maori Land Court and the Maori Tribunal are protesting outside Parliament. See, that's and it cites and um, mayor and um, and um, who was the other one? Somebody else. But anyway, those ex-politicians are protesting outside Parliament on the steps saying, where's our Maori deal? I said, the Parliament just says, oh, well, we made rulings that we don't need it anymore. We've got everything we screwed out of you, and your Maori land is no more. It's now crypto, okay? Your land has been valued up as crypto tokens, and if you're not in it, you've got to go to the iwi 
because they work for us in the parliament. Okay, they are our agents of our little crown in Wellington, and I'm saying no, we've got a big crown, daddy crown in Britain. We're gonna drop that bombshell on your head legally and legitimately obliterate you off the native land and see what you're gonna say. And you've got to come out on your two feet in your own competing witness to refute what I'm saying on this video, okay? So there's, it's after eight, it's right on eight o'clock now, and I'm hoping that Paulus or somebody from Comply Advantage is gonna pop up. I'm hoping that um, Charlie, Getting Paul, CEO and founder of Comply Advantage will come on the screen and talk to me and ask me any questions about what I just said to see if I'm for real and I'm telling you I'm here for real. I haven't changed. All your people over there have changed. What happened? Because I can tell you your story, I can tell my story. The way it's supposed to be with the two bar pound note would have gone straight. But it went crooked pear shaped. And now it's gone and wrecked the whole world with the mm thing, putting poison you, poison the fish, poison the sky, poison the fish, poison every bloody thing in the world. And that's your crown over there that we're trying to fix up and get rid of the poison in there in Westminster and boot everybody out and start again from scratch. So see, like Pare Rivers and Rabata Ka are brand new on the native magistrate King's Bench Court. They're with me and nobody else can hold that much information. And I'm trying to make their head work like mine, a mechanic's head that can fix things and fix it up for the long run, okay? They've gotta make sure that I'm on target, but they're doing a good job, but it's a bit tiring and a bit strenuous at times. But I'm used to strenuous and, and strife and all that uh, stuff that is stress. And that's why I got pills to deal with the stress. Okay, and then I'll, one day I can throw them away when I buy some good food instead of the food I get. The cheap food is laced with something that's making me go sick. That's why I'm on a fast at the moment, because my stomach is not happy. So I found out the only medicine, the only cure for your body is to starve it. Okay, that's what you call fasting. It means starve the bloody thing and it will find something to eat and it will eat all the toxins in your body and get rid of them, right? They have nothing else to eat but fresh air. Just like those nasty people that are full of toxins. It's a toxic government in Wellington. It's a toxic government in all the countries that are operating under that fraud one bar pound note that they're throwing in the rubbish, throwing everything in the rubbish and try and think they can fool everybody a second time doing the same thing for the next 201 years here that I'm accounting for. And that goes back to 1689, King William III, that was square on then. It was straight up. The law was straight up. When it hit Queen Victoria and the Rothschilds, they bought the Bank of England and then away they went like Eddie Mitchell for their own self-interest uh, and, and greed. The greed got them. Now the greed has got the Mitchell family. He's liable, all the Mitchell family, they will lose everything because you know what I said? Because what they did to me is bent my intelligence and putting those documents together to get the SGAT and the claim to all the wealth here of the lease of this native country land and they stole it. So all Freemasons are now liable. He libeled a whole lot of them. <clears throat> and he's not a lawman. He's not a contract man either. All he knows is how to steal property, land, and money. He's a gangster, Eddie Mitchell, and you can see it, he's a boxer. He protects himself with his army friends, 
because I went to his meeting in the Chinese restaurant in Cheltenham, in Hamilton. I, f I lived in his house as my office, and his office was in the bedroom of his father, and, and he come in there and change and put his clothes on right in front of me. I had no privacy with him, and then he asked me all the questions about how you do this, how you do that real estate. He knew I had a real estate ticket. He knew what I'm doing with land. And Alfred Mitchell was in the shed. And he asked me all the clues about Maori land titles and that. And both of those Mitchells st stole that 17 trillion from my brain. And they're going to pay for it. They're going to pay for it and all those other people that put me in prison, and worst of all, Middlemore Hospital, that put me into the mental home. And Philip Taylor, the, the, the policeman, he's got the big trillion pound notes on his head. All those well-to-do people that are up in high positions, they get a hundred trillion on the head. The same as Jacinda Dern, she gets a thousand trillion on her head. So that bill goes to the little crown in Wellington and all the other affiliates that they deal with. They get it too. Their poison is in Wellington, Parliament. And that poison has spread like a disease and a virus with Jacinda Dern's dirty Satan mouth. Okay? She went around, pretty, pretty, go around and say, oh, you must get the jab. It's safe. And it's not safe because... People, even my own families, are dropping dead. You wouldn't think they would drop dead at 45. And and it's terrible what she did. Her and her Dern family of the Latter-day Saints Church. I'm exposing them. And those other people that are exposing them too don't have the clout I've got straight into Westminster Parliament. They have to go through Australia, that New South Wales. That's where it was born in Wellington, Parliament. That crown there came from New South Wales under Queen Victoria. I'm going straight into Westminster, the kings that I've just said I'm talking for. I'm talking for King William III of Orange, 1689, King William IV, 1830 to 1837, laws that I use, his laws of Westminster Parliament. Those, those seven years of laws, I use his laws, and I'm there for King George IV and his lease for uh, between him, the British Crown, and Westminster with Te Waikato for the head of Monaco, and those Maoris down there in Arapuni and up in Cambridge, they screwed the Monaco family. I'm telling you the truth because I know everything's up here. It hasn't gone away. It will never change. You can never change an old dog's thoughts. I'm in the thought field. I did a course on John Kehoe's mind powers. You see, I know from him how to use the mind to overpower something else that you believe is not right. So there, that's what I'm going on, his experience, and I'm watching all the videos that's on my website of these fellows that know everything. Waste of time going on MRI because nobody knows all this lot. You wouldn't have a clue because all my years I want to learn and I want to pass on my knowledge but I've got no mokopunas, no, no grandchildren. I have nothing because the crown and the courts took them away from my daughter and, and that ruined the whole thing, okay? That ruined the whole thing. So that's why I got adopted Filipino family and, uh, and I treat them as my family. They are my family. Now, they're because they are breathing the air, the polluted air, the poison air, they're drinking the poison water, they're eating the poison food, the same as I am here, the same thing. They get sick too. They tell me all their sick problems too. They tell me all their short of money tricks too. They, they, I can understand them because I went there with them the last six years I've been with them to help them. I said, one day I will come back and help you. You see, that's a long time. And the girls are big and the boys big now. And the girl is saying, Oh, Dad, I need a mobile phone. Everybody's got a mobile phone in the high school. I've gone to the high school and going to the boarding school, and I need a mobile phone because everybody's got a mobile phone, and I haven't got one because my one is broken. So I have to give her a mobile phone 
one day soon. Okay, so there, I've got their hopes up that one day they won't be in the trouble they are in. Yet their government is holding on to all the stolen gold. That's what I went there for, to find and talk to Duterte, the then president, to tell them, Oi, all that gold you got, it belongs to me and the crown in Britain. Because I'm the partner to the Queen and the Kings. And I want to talk to you about that gold so I can give it back to the people. There, that was stolen from other countries and hidden there. And all the gold that is hidden right through the world belongs to us, the native-born people of that land. And all the land, they stole it off and hoarded it in other countries. So that's what I'm doing here, is putting things back where they were stolen with a one-bar pound note. Okay, so there, that's something to let you know what I'm talking about and what position I am with the British Crown to tell his story or his story or my story. I'll change it to me, my and I, me, to do it because nobody else can talk for those kings and Queen Victoria, but only me in my way talk something that I've experienced of being out in the field amongst the people, the community. So I'm thinking at the same time that Dan, the Bank of Dan, was changed to the Bank of Bank on Dan in Bromley in England and he never knew a brass razu thing about banks and they were he was told, No, you can't use a bank or 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 run a bank because the Crown owns the banks. And so he defied them and went ahead and built a bank with his own money. He's got a caravan company and funny thing is I'm in a caravan and he owns a big mobile caravan company in England where he, or his money, he lent his money out to kick it all off. He'd go to the bank, get a loan, take it into his new bank and lend it to the people, the community, that couldn't get their, pay their mortgages. So he gave them the money to pay for anything with his bank. And so I'm going to talk to him and bring him on the Zoom, on my Zoom, because I don't think he's got any um, media like um, FinTech News and uh, Gina Clark to do his uh, interviews and his promotion of his bank but anyway I want to get to talk to him to <coughs> tell him I've got a Maui powerhouse bank that's been running for a long time as not there yet but all its instruments are in place that he can borrow money through the Starling Bank Starling Bank uh, with um, Guy Guy I can't think of his name but Guy Guy? Where's Guy? Hang on, where is he? I've got him somewhere. I wrote them down in a line. Where are they? Guy? Coinbase is the... Crypto is Coinbase. That's the crypto I'm going to use. And the wallet is... The wallet is Coinbase, is the wallet, is Coinbase, is the crypto and the wallet, and the bank is Starling Bank. That's with Guy, and we're using the other bank of, of Philip as well. So I'm looking for them, their names. Philip Waller, Waller, Philip Waller, and, and Jamie, Jamie, um, Nuttall, he's the accountant for the Crown. <coughs> he's um, very proficient in uh, crypto tax. He specializes in crypto tax. So he will, I'm using them as directors on the new company, Maui Crown King George, no, sorry, Ma Maui Crown King George the Fourth Trust Company. I'll be using that trust. There's four of them altogether. And that's the one we're going to kick off with. With the 17 trillion is King George. And that's that bank. 
that belongs to that money to recover. That trust versus the Mitchell family trust and see what's going to happen about that. Dissolve them, liquidate them, then bankrupt them out of business off the flipping land and go back to Australia and get a hiding when you get there. Okay, Eddie Mitchell, I had enough with you. I've had enough of your bullshit in stealing from my intellectual property. Okay? You've stolen my intellectual property and you're gonna, I'm going to have to go through the law to get it back because you don't own those 303 properties in Australia that you went on a buying spree just like a thug, pirate, and drug dealer. Who knows? You've got drugs in the middle of all that lot and Charlie will root you out because he goes into computers anywhere in the world and uncovers your tracks, your dirty little tracks. Eddie Mitchell and Alfred Mitchell and all the people you deal with in Tainui. It's Tainui with this on your head. The cryptocurrency and the pound note tuba is on your head. The Moai chip coin and the um, Coinbase crypto currency, digital currency, is on your head. And the pound note is on your head too. The two bar pound note of Waikato, Tira Waikato Farahira here in Manukau, and uh, Tafio, King Tafio from Tainui, it's on your head because that's Cambridge there, went to Cambridge in England. Just Tira Waikato Farahira here in Manukau went to England and um, and went into Cambridge to learn English, but mainly to do real estate, to sign, legally sign, the native land of New Zealand over to King George the <coughs> Fourth and the British Crown back then. And that's the lease that he's valued with the Freemasons and the barristers at 17 trillion. I say, no, that's not right. It's 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. That's the green pound note with Ernest Augustus the fifth head on it and he is our king to carry on those kings that I'm surrogate for. Okay? And so that's on the big pound note with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. It's been there for years and it stays. It sticks. It's law because no one has refuted it and no one can say anything about what I'm talking about. Trust is the Queen Victoria Trust, the biggest trust in the world that I'm taking over as the head of that trust and the Moai Crown Queen Victoria Trust and, uh, and uh, the, the right to her crown, her crown in the British Westminster Parliament and King William III, his trust, the Moai Crown King William III Trust and his legacy to the Pound Note and the Bank of England. I'm taking the Bank of England over with those instruments and legal jurisdiction and see who pops their head up to defend what I'm saying. Okay? You've all got a video to come on in a Zoom and talk and tell me how the bloody hell did you get all that money and wealth? <coughs> that fellow Kiyosaki, rich dad, poor dad, how the hell do you say that that dollar, US dollar, is useless? Well, where your wealth come from, Mr. Japanese Kiyosaki? You're like our Prime Minister, our, our Governor General here, Cindy Kira. She says, oh, out with the Maoris and in with her flag and her jurisdiction and her gazetted authority to be the owner, legal owner of New Zealand, I said, no, you're not the owner, I'm the owner, and anybody else that wants to join me as native owners. Landlord. She's not a landlord. She's a woman from Japan. Okay? Her blood, blood DNA comes from there. So she can go back there. I'll just deport her back home and all those thugs who are breaking our king's money laws okay not so much god's law that's the church of england that's sold off to the muslims our church of england you see what's happened the laws of england have been violated the church of england has been violated the 
Patrick St. Patrick Church has been violated by Israel and and all those corporations in the world. The richest country in the world is Northern Ireland, British Crown. There, they're registering all their companies there so they can get out of paying tax. Well, they've dropped a big greenback note on their head with two bars on it and liquidate them and foreclose on all their business corporations right through the world because this stupid Eddie Mitchell, this Mitchell Pakia from England came here and just what they came here for, rip the natives off their land and take it back to England and take all the trees from here, the big curry trees, and take them over there and make expensive houses for their own greed and their own wealth while we're going straight in with the law against the law. Okay? The Queen Victoria Law and Charlie's Law, which is fuck all, against our King's Empress Law and a real native chief. Okay? Not a plastic one, like what Nazi Fatu has got a plastic chief and a Pakia in the middle of it. You have a look at your surnames and it tells you who is who. Right? A brown or a black. Those Cheeky Americans put Camilla there because she's black, you see? But stupid talking. It's the intelligence is coming out of the mouth. It's saying stupid things because Americans, it makes them all stupid to follow a prime minister or a president that talks stupid language, right? There's nothing in it. There's nothing to hold it up. It's thin air because they don't know how to talk truth. They don't know how to speak Truth. If I went there and talked to her, you, you, you'll see truth and gain lies. Because that's what I'm doing here, exposing the lies. And see if they can open their mouth. If they don't say anything to this video, then it becomes law. Because it's the truth that wins out in the end. <coughs> okay, so that's that. And it's now 8.30. And that's how long the video is supposed to be on the Zoom. But Zoom is letting me keep going and uh, extend my Zoom hearing because I'm practicing on Zoom. And I need a little hand because I'm running the whole business on my pension. And my pension only adds to 28000 a year. And the government here is raking in a million bucks a birth certificate. Where's the rest? That's what I'm after. And O'Shaughnessy in the Auckland District Court, when I went to jail, I questioned him. Where is my trust? Where's my trust? You are stealing from my trust. And I didn't have to pay some fines because I said, no, I'm there in my trust. I'm talking for my trust. In my name in capital letters. I'm the trustee, not you. And they are acting as the trustee and me the beneficiary. No, I'm saying I'm the trustee of everything on this video that I'm saying and the trustee of my own trust. Right? The Hawaii Wano um, Fano Trust, that's a Maori trust, but that has no bearing on this Queen Victoria Maui Crown Trust. Okay? It doesn't have anywhere near what it's worth. So now the new um, cryptocurrency in America is valuing you up as crypto token okay just a commodity that's all you are now just a number they can press and destroy you with one stroke of, of key like that boom you're gone if you can't don't pay your rates you're gone they'll just won't let you fly won't let you go out of the district you're locked in a 15 minute city, anything outside 15 minutes of the city, you can't go into because they are locking the whole world up and we're busting the gates open and boot them into prison. That's what I'm doing with all the rest of the freedom seekers in the world who wants justice. I'm here for justice. Okay, so there, that's it. I'm separating myself from everybody here because I've got a job to do and I wasted my time with all of my Maori people because they didn't listen. They don't know how to research 
and stick on the subject because they want to live on their land and they want to live on the Maori land and now the government in Wellington says no more Maori land because we're going to cross it all out, pay out Ngāpui what we think we're going to pay them to look after this and that and this and that. We'll pay them to run the crypto and all their hapus have to go to the iwi to get money from the iwi and the iwi will say no you've got to get a crypto wallet and so they're gonna be so confused if it's confused me which it has crypto is ambiguous jargon on computer numbers and it simply means <coughs> if you're not in this world you're not with the game <coughs> okay you can't enter into their world of digital currency I only know cash as safest and the pound note why didn't the British make their money crypto they said no we don't we don't approve of crypto in our country and you can't buy anything property or anything with a Bitcoin that's what came back to me is the British hasn't got the Bitcoin or the crypto from America because it hasn't been passed into law and the law in America comes from the British Crown they have to answer to the British Crown and pay them royalties for the use of their courts system comes from there and that's what I'm saying I'm in the middle of the British court telling Americans shut your bloody mouth and listen to law real law not fucking propaganda and misinformation and fraud and corruption of your system of crypto that doesn't ex that just disclose information about what a crypto token is where it comes from for what product and pay you pay you later and sign up for crypto and pay you later for the money when you get the crypto shares and that's one control over everybody in the world they're trying to do that to the rest of the world I'm saying no you fucking can't not when I'm around and alive it's not gonna happen because too many people know I disclose everything I do so there's no need to come after me you have to go after everybody else who's got it in their brain and their computers it's all out there that's useless in my head okay so that's what I'm doing it's all free I don't charge anything for the information and like Eddie Mitchell stole the bloody information that I've got out there for free and ran off with it so anybody like that it comes back to bite your ass Eddie Mitchell and Alfred Mitchell it'll bite your ass because I've been living with you fellas all these years and that's what you did to me Carl it's gonna catch you the karma comes back and bites you and hits you that fucking hard that you will collapse in agony at the money coming to get you. The money will get you because this pound note is stronger than that one bar pound note. The two bar pound note of Waikato chief from Tainui that had the pound note but the PNZ had a printing machine to print the notes and Tafio, poor Tafio couldn't use his pound notes because he had to pay for it to be shipped out from England printed already from England and he couldn't keep it up <coughs> one Maori couldn't do it <coughs> so wasting your time trying to refute what, I've, what I'm saying because it's the truth it's for you to open your bloody mouth and say something to this video otherwise I'm going to make a ruling over you in this native court anywhere I go and it's online to those people in the know in Britain those are my legal partners and legitimate partners especially legitimate because I'm telling a native of the land story for every living native you've got law here that protects you and I'm running the law here straight into Westminster Parliament and with those natives of England to talk to as my partner and they'll be your partner when we get our way it's eventually the truth wins okay so there, that's all for now, and uh, I, I can have a rest, I've had a sleep.
so now I can drift off onto my um, internet and see what's going on and uh, say good evening and uh, no more I need to say other than shock at what's happening <coughs> in America with the hyped up language on crypto and crypto hulk is telling the truth if anybody wants to know about crypto go on his site crypto hulk and i will try and get to talk to him in one of my videos uh, zooms i'm having a zoom every day if i feel up to it at 8 p.m uh, um, and whatever time it's in uh, United States was 1 a.m. this morning, so that's too early. I can't, I was going to bring him on tonight, but I can't. I can only bring on one person to talk one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll be choosing who I bring on to my Zoom to, if they don't come on my Zoom, it means that they have a busy schedule and I'm not well known yet. And uh, I have to stand in a queue uh, with, um, with Gina Clark, the uh, FinTech News in uh, London, and she needs more than two hours notice of a Zoom, and I'm asking her for me to go on a Zoom with her <coughs> tomorrow, Friday, the date of 27th at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm hoping that she'll send out a Zoom for me and Charlie and her, Charlie um, Delling Paul, um, for com um, Comply Advantage, <coughs> a money laundering company, recovery, debt recovery company, to talk directly to her, asking the questions of him and asking me what's this all about, British Crown and natives in New Zealand. What, 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 what do I have that they haven't got? What have I got that they haven't got? And what have they got I haven't got? See, it goes both ways. Then you'll see a partnership emerging where it's supposed to be, okay? That's how it started off until the Rothschilds, dirty thugs and pirates on the high sea came along and put a one bar outside of Parliament and away they went. And they got fooled. All the British people and the Europeans got fooled. And the fool has mounted up and imploded with what Biden is doing and those thugs are acting it out. They are actors. They are parliament actors. They are not king actors. They are parliament actors, agents of the British Crown, of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. That's where that mob gets its jurisdiction from and not King William III or King George IV or King William IV or Queen Victoria, she's getting the authority from Queen Victoria IV, uh, Queen Victoria, and from King George III jurisdiction, but can't string King George III to the Dutchman and the Chai and the French, and um, um, William the Conqueror, William the I, 1066. The Americans can't string themselves to him because he's a Frenchman, and he, he's king crown business um, goes to King William III. The Americans can't string themselves back from King George III to that Dutch king because it's the wrong bloodline, DNA, and the wrong admiralty. They got no admiralty. King George III never created the admiralty. This King William III Dutchman put the admiralty together and passed it on to King George IV and missed out King George III. Okay, went straight to King George IV to form the first lease land legal instrument to transfer the legal land from here in New Zealand, native title, to the British Crown through King George IV, 1823. That part of the Crown Corporation started off with the money from the lease lands. And then King William IV came along with the flag to cement it into statute law in fixed in Westminster Parliament with the flag, Constitution flag, 1835 of New Zealand. 1835 Constitution that founded New Zealand. Dutchman.
founded New Zealand, okay? And it's the Municipal Corporations Act, 1835, King William, King William IV, to cement or put into statute law of the rent, to pick the rent lease land up and put it into his British crown. See, so King George III has nothing like that. He was the father of King Ernest Augustus I, King William IV, and King George IV, the father, okay? And King Ernest Augustus, poor old King Ernest Augustus I, got kicked out and legislated out off his bloodline to the Admiralty and put in Queen Victoria. And that was illegal when they did that. That was the fraud part of Queen Victoria. Okay, so I'm sticking that on her head and taking over her business trust. There's the Moai, because she stole the Moai, and that's how much I think it's worth. Trillions. That she stole my intelligence DNA from Tahiti. That's why that Moai is standing right there. There's other memorials, but chose the Moai. And that's what I'm saying. The Moai is the real spirit that she stole. When you're a thief, there's always a thief. Eddie Mitchell is a thief and he'll be dealt with in the court, this court I'm doing here. And I want to put up a native court in London so that we can go back to a brighter, new, great Britain. Okay, and put it back together. Put Humpty Dumpty back together and clean out the filthy Westminster Parliament and put it somewhere else. Put it somewhere else. Put the homeless in there and let them live in that castle and go and make a new one somewhere else. Okay? So there, that's what I'm, my intentions are and have to fulfill what I'm saying. It's not a dream. It's just reality to make the ancestors that I swear my allegiance to Mohi, to Marty Manukau, and, <coughs> and all the other chiefs that supported him with their flag. The chiefs that signed in Waikato, not at Waitangi because that's Australia contract. That's a contract with the parliament in Wellington. That can't be changed. It's fixed. So everybody that's going through Waitangi has to stick there. That was what I'm saying to Brian with us. We're going to stick in Te Tairawhiti area with me, uh, Rafa Ka in um, Pare Rivers. So their surnames are on their Pākehā side. It's the same as my surname is on the Cosgrove lawyer side from Ireland and on the Rogan side of the Scottish and the Irish in me. That's the brain talking there. And the brown part is the spirit law from Tahiri in Rapa Nui and Raya Tea, Tapa Tapa Tea Marae, there, and a bit of rocks <coughs> is our Marae. No roof, straight up. No steeple on the top with a cross on it. It's just straight up to the universe and the Atuas universe, the creator of heaven and earth. And these Mongols in Parliament in Westminster are fucking the whole world up with their stupid brain going and with the Pope that's stuffed up people's lives and trying to get out of it and say, oh, we forgive them that sinned and raped somebody else's wife and and that's all they do. Bestiality and all this pornography and all this pedophile thing is filthy and rife in Westminster Parliament and that thing that Andy goes on about, that street there where they had the kids, the boys and girls, little boys, and raped them. All the politicians, all the council me members, they raped them in that place. It's there. It's there. It's there to see what they did, what the dirty churches did. All the churches, I hate that sort of behavior coming from a church and the Church of England, the worst out of them all, that they came here to bring the law here, the dirty law here, and then we had to follow that dirty law right till now. We're going to make a clean law <coughs> with these ones I'm talking to in England, one to one, 
my brain and your brain and see if we can make something out of rubble and filth and destruction, fraud and corruption. Law of our law corrupted to hell and bring it back to life. Put some life in it. Put people's dignity back together and let them live on their own native land. That's all I want to do. I can't do anything else but help to make that true and come true. All things are possible, and that's what I'm saying. I'll keep going till I'm no more, but i leave something behind for somebody else. And i leave a lot behind with my Filipino family. I wish I had my own family, but they've drifted off in their own ways following that dirty, filthy ground in Wellington. Okay, I can't do much about it. I have to look after myself, my health, and my religious beliefs in the Church of England. I stick by my oath of office goes to the Church of England and those who want to uphold it and they're turning them down. They're starting to close their churches because their congregation is dwindling and going into the dirty churches to listen to the Catholics and everybody else that's following the fraud, corrupted business of Israel and America. That's got everything under their control with scud missiles and everything that they got their finger on the computer and it's going to catch them out. These young fellows will decipher all of that and get the filth out of it and put the law on the head and dissolve their business. You, know, you see? What do you do to someone else to harm them? Loss and injury. Harm, loss and injury is what their courts are for, but their courts uphold the harm, loss and injury and compensate them. We don't talk about compensation. We talk about debt bills and liquidation. That's what we talk about, liquidation and bankruptcy. That's in our native court. Those are the only words, not compensation for something that's stolen. No, that's the Maoris over here. They're getting compensated at less than 1% of what the British stole. The British Crown stole with the New Zealand Crown in Wellington and their authority and jurisdiction from Australia, New South Wales, and Eddie Mitchell, where he comes from, over there. They're all following the same pattern of corruption and fraud. And it's going to catch them. I'm going to catch them out with anybody else who thinks like me anywhere in the world. I'm talking to everybody in the world affected by chemtrails, by dirty water, poison water, poison food in the shops, poison food. Don't touch the bloody thing. Boycott those big companies till they fall to the ground and implode, just like the 9-11, go down in one scrap and heap and pull everything off them. Right? We're going to pull everything off them and give it back to the people who want to be left alone and run their own lives without one world order. Okay? Well, thank you. That's all. <coughs> I'll turn this off. And I know how to do it now to save the recording. So we'll end there. <coughs> end. There. I'll just leave the laptop going for a minute. I just while well, I got the mic to go straight into the laptop. So in the video, thank you very much. <coughs> I didn't get my guest on tonight. That's fine because it's always another day and I can bring them on the next video soon. That's my Zooms. When I go on to their Zooms, it's a different story because they're inviting me in and I'm inviting them into this little inchy winchy Zoom hearing. They got a big Zoom hearing, but the intelligence is needed from what I'm saying to match them in everything they do with what everything I say because they've got the money and I haven't and I'm wanting to see how they make money and by the time I finish and tell you how they make money you'll know how to do it too okay so that's just that's the story I'm telling you how to do it just follow my website moaipowerhouse.world m-o-a-i P O W E R H O U S E dot W O R L D and select Confederation Sovereigns page and scroll right to the bottom and you'll see that's where I'm up to date now. I don't 
take everything out and put it on to the other 87 websites on Facebook um, because I don't have time and it's a big lot of work. That's what I did back in 2012. I set up 107 Facebook sites and had everything I go on Facebook. I chuck everything into those folders which are still there now from the broken one that they destroyed all my hard work. It's bad. You get a bad feeling when Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or anybody destroys all your work and your whole world falls apart because just at the press of a button they delete it and that's what I didn't want to do with our website is for them to delete it again because it took me a long time to resurrect one of the spare Wix sites and Wix is Israel run so they're watching what I'm doing on the Wix and they can eliminate anything they're not approved of. That's why I don't talk about the VAX because it hits them in the brain and goes, goes, goes nuts. They go nuts and deletes you for talking about the VAX. And you say something that they don't agree with, they'll knock you right out and all that work is gone. That's why I can't wait for another company to come along with a separate system like that to go into in complete privacy way away from them and get the satellites. That's why I've got to go into the satellite area, which I've been a pilot in the old days, flying aircraft. So that's nothing new for me to go into that field and also in the mechanics um, field of hydrogen on now to go from liquid um, um, LPG and CNG petrol uh, vehicle conversions I was very um, busy on that getting loans from the bank and loans for building with Galaxy garages and Penrose I used to use their garage steel bolt up ones and did all the work myself I got it all set up the permits and also to pick all the steel up on my trailer and uh, and uh, stick the building up myself and the concrete, make all the footings, get it all prepared and um, Marnie would come along and lay the concrete. Um, um, Marnie, that he had his concrete gang come around and pour the concrete in all the sites that I set up to put the concrete down, then put the building on it and then change the building into a house like a a second house and that's my building experience with concrete and, uh, and my brother in Wellington had um, had um, uh, contracts with uh, a company down there and that folded up in the end and um, I used to work with my brother in Auckland on high-rise building and that's where I got the high-rise building idea with um, um, Juliet Chang in China and, um, and to put up the 400-story building on Cook Street 74 Cook Street, still going ahead. When I get this thing through in England, then they lose all their properties because that's what I've been saying for a long time. 2008, I set that property up with Mori Manukau to get it back into the Manukau Moriori title. And the Crown just went with Sir Hugh Kafru and Ngāti Whātua Ōuraki and Ngāti Whātua Ki Kaipara and went with their history, their um, contemporary history of the professors and not the traditional history of the Ma Ma Mohi Manukau and Rogan history of the land titles. They turned it all down and now I'm dropping it back on their head again and obliterate them all because they're going to learn the hard way. The law comes back to beat the hell out of you lot for doing that and wasting my time all these years. I could have had the big tidal turbine bridge up in Kaipara but Crest Energy won the contract with Nati Fatua Ki Kaipara and Nada Glavich and not all her bloody Maori mob. They went there in my court hearings in Kaipara in, in Helensville and upset it. And they were going to knock my head off. That's the Poe family there in Kaipara. And they all went against me in Man Mohi Manukau. And Mohi says, don't listen to them. You see, he knew already what's going to happen but he didn't get to see his son, Edu Monaco, come back here because Edu was with his own sovereign 
government of Aotearoa and coming through the United Nations with that dirty, filthy money and got kicked out. Helen Clark refused them entry into the country and he wasn't there at his father's funeral in <coughs> in Kaipara. And so I went to the funeral, said my piece, and the Freemason said to me, they were all dressed in black, black around the coffin, and said to me, give all his Freemason stuff back. I said, it's in my head, you have to chop my head up to get it. You see? So that was the end of that. But I still uphold the Freemason's documents. All my documents are Freemason instruments, okay? So they'd want a cut out of it, but I'll say, you shouldn't be allowed to have any cut out of a native title because you went the other way and violated the Freemasons' law. <coughs> and I can bill you for that because you broke the original native title law of King William III of Orange, right? And that's what I drop on their head. The Freemasons here and the Freemasons all over the world, they get that 970 million trillion pound note bill on their head, all of them and all the barristers and lawyers and the courts in the world, they get the same bill because that's what I'm telling these young fellows, these computer um, um, experts, what to do and see if they can do it. You see, because they have every legal and legitimate right to go after criminals. And that's what they do. Charlie goes after criminals who break law of England and especially the new law of crypto that the British Crown has just passed on the 1st of September 2024 that states that the crypto, it will be British crypto, will be law on that date and now the crypto in England is law and that's what I'm learning how to do it, how to do the money, how to bring it up to date and how to fit in it as a partner still with our British given flag of a king of emperors and King William IV, 1835, Confederation of Chiefs flag, not a Maori flag. It's not a Maori flag as such because if you change its constitution, 1835, and its jurisdiction of Admiralty, mortgage, land, bank jurisdiction, then I'm afraid you can't go into that area direct into Westminster Parliament. You have to be armed with all a long trail of itemised history, right? You have to have all your ducks in a row all the way back and link them all up to you and your surname. You have to have those right, the surname of where it came from, where it settled, and fit yourself into the native title. Okay, that's what's happened. You can't just come in, anybody in New Zealand, and jump in and think that you're a native. No, it doesn't work like that. You've got to go to school, mate. You've got to go to school. I've got my students, Pare Rivers and Robert Dakar, learning with me because I'm learning a new cryptocurrency and the two-bar pound note. It's brand new. It's brand new. And that's how I feel. Brand new to start from 1689. Okay, I'm going right back there because that's taking me back to 1694. Two-bar pound note that went through Parliament and became the Crown entity and the means of real money. Right? It got passed into law of King William the Third, Protestant King of that money. The one bar pound note never went through Westminster Parliament to get parliamentary consent and royal assent to make it law. It's not law. The one power bar pound note and the US dollar is not real law. It's a humbo-jumbo, fraud, corrupted money. <coughs> so that's what a, a true story I'm telling you. It's for you to deny it and try and save your money now because the Moai Crown 
King William III Trust and its two bar pound note, cash and chip coin is going to drop on your head because you're so ignorant to follow the one bar pound note and the new crypto dollar that the British are saying, no, we don't want that dirty, filthy US fiat money dollar in our country because you've ruined the whole world with bank wars that you created with Israel. You and your Rothschild, Pound Note and BlackRock and all and Vanguard and all those corporations belong on that filthy one bar pound note. Don't touch our two bar pound note because you already got a nine hundred and seventy million trillion trillion pound note two bar on your head. So don't play around with the two bar pound note, Mr Vanguard and Mr Rothschild and Mr Vanguard and Mr Blackrock. Keep your filthy, dirty hands off it because it's already documented, already disclosed, already in law as affidavit videos and documents all the way through on my website. It's all there. And your Israel people destroyed a lot of my work and you're going to pay for it, Israel, and you're going to give that native land back to the Palestinians who own it they're the landlords, the real owners that you've screwed, the same as New Zealand and the government here did the same thing. The pattern of offending is humongous and you're going to pay it all back in debt instruments that can't be denied. You had all your chance in the world to refute it and you haven't so far refuted in front of me. I'm allowed to talk for the kings and the queen, Victoria. Okay? It's for you here in New Zealand to deny it and say something. Open your mouth and say something. If you don't, it's the truth. Law prevails. The king's laws of King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth. He's the reigning monarch that we have on the pound note, the greenback pound note, as his legacy to Ernest Augustus the First, the brother of King George the Fourth, King William the Fourth, and their father, King George the Third, on that bloodline. Okay, on that bloodline. So there, have a feed on that. Okay, thank you. This time I can turn off the computer. Okay, let's press the end of the video at 21.06, that's 8, 9 o'clock, 6 minutes past 9 p.m. in London. I'm ending the video now, and I'm not disappointed that Paula didn't come on. She's the agent um, given by Charlie to um, deal with my case. I've emailed her back um, to keep up to date with what's happening here. And I have to wait in line and um, until my turn. So there, I'll have to be patient with the biggest fraud case in the world is a 17 trillion case that Rosie Rios, the director of the IMF and the World Bank and the federal government in the USA, saying she's the richest person in the world with 1.8 trillion on her crypto in the federal government and and I'm saying no she's not the richest Eddie Mitchell is the richest with 17 million trillion 17 trillion on his bank balance and against Rosie Rios's measly 1.8 trillion okay so she's got that one wrong she's not the richest person in the world neither anybody else that has a figure like that in real. We're just going to see how real it is 17 trillion is. Just go to my website and you'll see 303 companies. Press on the number right to the left of the page on each of those Mitchell Family Trusts and it'll show you where the money went to and which investment company has gone to and make money out of interest 
from the investment company lending that money out and to the real estate, the whole mall, the whole street of shops, high-rise buildings and everything gonna have a big splash up for me and my intelligence to put it together over 50 years of research. And he's just snapped it like his ancestor did. Snap everything that looks shiny like money. Okay, and the money will kill him right out of business. Put him right under, in prison forever. He's going in prison, and those Freemasons going in prison, and those lawyers, barristers with him, are going in prison, and these army mates, they'll find him, because Charlie is very good at his job. And I already know, because I've been over the whole thing, and the videos teaches me a lot. I watch everyone, okay? So that's all, that'll do. No more. End. Okay. <coughs> End. Meeting for all. And there. Join meeting. Now, it should come on to record it. <coughs> Where's the... Record. <laughs> We're supposed to end it, and then it should come up. Where the hell do you go? turn this one off on the laptop and then I can start uploading onto YouTube. Okay, we'll end this video. We'll end this video on the laptop and so I can upload it on YouTube and I'm just waiting for the desktop to tell me to save the recording. Okay, so I'll get this one up and and um, developed on YouTube. Okay, see you later. Bye. I've got a call now. <coughs>